Anyway guys, have a good day and goodbye. Hello everybody, my name is Light of Hand and today I'll be doing an unboxing for Bolt Action, the British LDV, which stands for Local Defence Volunteers, or was, uh, but they also got nicknamed the Look, Duck and Vanish. Okay guys, uh, this is from Warlord Games for Bolt Action. This is basically models they've released for the um, Sea Lion operation. If I just zoom in, we can see the models on the back. Let me just turn the light on behind me actually, that won't look too bad if I do. Okay, so yeah, these are the uh, models. You get 10 in the uh, uh, set. I actually bought this from um, Warlord. So let's come straight out. Okay, so some of you might be thinking, well, why am I doing an unboxing for the uh, English LDV when I said I was going to do um, something for the Russians? Or the vote was Russians. Well, well, it is, the guys. This is really new. So I wanted to get this done straight away. And I promise the next unboxing straight after this will be the Soviet Infantry plastic set. I believe it's an older set, but that will be my uh, unboxing when I get round to it after my next um Bolt action unboxing. Okay, so let's open these up and have a quick look inside. Okay, so let's have a look. What, ooh. Okay, well, straight away you get the 10 plastic stands that are needed. That's kind of cool. At least it's not um, in the back. A little bit of cardboard to help support the actual little plastic case that keeps a. Uh, oh, it's partly bursting. Let's open it up. Let's move the. Uh, oh, there's two bits of. Uh, that's kind of cool. Extra protection. Oh, I thought these were fixed, but they look like you've got to glue the hands and stuff like that on. Okay. Well, the heads are fixed, the hands are not. Okay, so this is one of the gentlemen. Zoom in a little. He would look really good painted if I could paint. So, yeah, he does look kind of cool. Let me just zoom in just a little so you can get a little better look on some of these. Needs a bit of cleaning, obviously. But most metal models do these days. Okay, so there's a, another gentleman who's actually got a helmet. Looks like he's wearing a pair of overalls. Again, same could be put into his hand. And there's a bunch of weapons here to choose from. Oh, obviously this one's fixed. I didn't didn't know if he was going to be, but he uh, he is, which is good. It's uh, another gentleman. Uh, it looks like with his uh, little flat cap, Wellington boots by the looks of it, and a shotgun. So he's probably a farmer. Okay, this one is the. Oh, almost dropped him. Here. This one is obviously the uh, either the uh, section leader or uh, officer of the militia, probably a uh, officer from World War One who's retired. Okay, there's uh, actually one with a rifle who's wearing. That looks like he's wearing a, like, um, oh god, what they're called. It's like a jumper without sleeves, I can't remember what they're bloody called. Okay, got very, I like them because they kind of do still have the very strong civilian looks to them. Oh, let's try and get this gentleman off the weapons. Okay. Well, he looks like he's about to throw something, if I'm honest. Or could be trying to keep someone at bay, maybe. Again, he looks like he's got britches. On his trousers, something like that. Yeah, moustache. Okay. I kind of like this, the fact there's different choice of weapons actually. Um, oh, another guy with a double barrel shotgun. This one's got a helmet though. Oh, sorry. This one actually has a helmet. It actually looks like he's out hunting with the type of hat he's got on. Um, yeah, needs a little bit of clean up, but. These are nice looking models though. Ok, 
Okay, again, another gentleman who could easily... It looks like he's got a pipe in one hand. If I zoom in. He's got something... Yeah, it looks like a pipe in one hand. And maybe carrying something at the side. Not sure what, what that is. Again, maybe... So, he looks quite well dressed, whoever he is. So he could be like one of the local nobles of the area, you know, like high uh, upper class. This guy again looks like he could be some engineer type, maybe a farm worker with what he's wearing. So it looks like he should be carrying something a bit heavier. Okay, so let's have a look what sort of weapons. I oh, know there's one more model, and then we'll look what hands they've got and what other weapons there are and stuff like that. Uh, this gentleman looks like he's a. Uh, I don't know. I'd, I'd probably paint him to look more like a gangster sort of thing. Could easily have certain other weapons in his hand, I suppose. Could have something heavy swinging, ready to swing at someone. Yeah, I'm shocked about the. Hands over because someone else asked me about the heads and I was like, yep, the heads are all all there. Uh, okay, so you get a choice of five different types of petrol bombs. That's cool. Actually, some of them look like they could be hanging off hanging off someone's trousers or something. They don't, oh, no, they're all gripped. They are all gripped. Okay. Then you've got some like machinery weapons. Or even a policeman's truncheon, by the looks of it. A hammer, a monkey wrench, and a police truncheon. Oh, it's a blunderbust on this one. Sorry, guys, get a little bit overexcited there. Okay, so you get the well, a uh, sledgehammer, a old-looking blunderbust. There are rules for a blunderbust in there. A crowbar and a fireman's axe, by the looks of it, or axe. Okay, guys, well, that is the unboxing for the British LDV section. Um, my next unboxing will be the plastic um, Russian infantry, which was voted for after my Band of Brothers uh, World War II starter set uh, for bolt action. So, yeah. Okay, guys, so... Let me know what you think in the comments. Are you interested in getting these uh, models yourself? Um, I'm going to be honest. I, I'm partly, I partly like they've got the different choice of weapons. I'm also partly not liking that. If that makes sense. Because um, I don't mind what I saw in the back there. I thought that's quite a good selection, really. But then at the same time, you might not want them to have petrol bombs. You might want them to just be a basic unit. So. And it can also mean if you buy another set, they don't all just look the same. You've got like different looking mod, you know, you can make them look slightly different with different weapons. Am I interested in buying another set? I might do, because I might actually build up a small um, a small little uh, army of these guys, um, if I'm honest. So yeah, well, so guys, if you like this video, please click like. If you'd like to leave a comment, please do. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I do all different things on my channel, guys. All the unboxings of all different sort of games. I have done a little bit of gameplay stuff for like Shadows of Brimstone. I am thinking about trying to do um, uh, Call of um, Arkham Horror, the card game as well on here. I've got some other board games I've got upstairs. I also plan on trying to do uh, Mansions of Madness at some point, and so on. So and Dark Souls when I get my bit, um, the bit that's meant to be replaced, sent to me. Anyway, guys. As I was saying, if you like this video, please click like. If you think you would like, would like to see more of my channel, subscribe. If you like to leave a comment, please do. Anyway, guys, have a good day and goodbye.